Hello everybody, this is BigY16, coming to show you guys some buildings that I've been working on, some yeah, little houses. I This is my first attempt at building something other than just a giant block of wood that I live in. So I'm pretty proud of this, it's pretty detailed and it looks pretty nice, I think it looks pretty nice. Very unique, I tried to use a lot of the new stuff from 1.5 just to kind of show it off. Um, uh, mainly I used brick, which has been here a while, mossy cobblestone fencing, I used marble brick, and a lot of the other marble things, and redstone blocks to help me with the lamps, and I think they actually kind of add a little bit of niceness to this thing, how it looks. Um, so you have the side windows, which I showed, and the back window, I added that mostly because the back was kind of plain looking. I had some potted plants. It looks good. Now, I made kind of like these weird doors, like tra trap doors. They work fine. Uh, so I think those are kind of cool. Also, these, I can't get this lighting bug fixed for the life of me. I don't know what it is. It's been bugging me, no pun intended. I really can't fix it. Uh, these windows, I think, look really nice. For whatever reason, you can stand in them if you want to. I think that's pretty cool. Uh, we'll get to why that chest is there in a little bit. Uh, the back window from the inside. On the second story, um, I'm also just testing here to show you guys that even when it's nighttime, it's well lit because of all the redstone lamps. Now the roof here, I'm going to fix. I'm going to make it so the edge with the two redstone lamps where this is, I'm going to bring that in one more. Not what I'm showing here, but I'm going to bring that in one more and then put a line of marble on the side. Uh, it may look a little better. I'm not really sure why that looks strange to me. I think it's because one side marble is hitting marble and then the other side marble is hitting brick. There we have the floor with a little glass looking roof through it. I think that's pretty cool. It kind of connects the top and the bottom floor and makes it a little bit more open looking. Here I just have always liked the fact that you can get to other places in the house more than one way. So there you get to like the roof balcony little walkway thing. And you have two side doors you can choose, or you can choose the middle with a smaller version of the front door at the bottom. Now for the chest, this isn't a normal chest, this is a new 1.5 trap chest. When you open it up, the floor below you opens, and you fall through. You could have a basement with all your real stuff in it, since this is more decoration. Uh, then you just hit this button here. It's kind of hard to do with recording on because it's a little bit more laggy redstone mechanics but nonetheless it works and yeah. on to the next building building this is a little more silly looking and it's more cubey i can round off the edges i think i may do that later uh once i make this build for my multiplayer server that i've been working on uh as of now it's just called le bar because i think it kind of would do good as like a server bar maybe you could buy potions there if you have an economy system. Uh, I made it one too low, so I had to break out the floor a little bit. You walk in, you have a little, you know, dance floor maybe. For, since it is, you know, a bar, have, you know, a party or something. The roof, I think, looks really cool. It looks almost like glass panes, retextured to have no glare. But if you look closely, the hitboxes of them being, like, in the middle, it's actually string, which... Just to give it a good look, but usually, you see, if a normal block is there, you can't connect the string to the edges. So what I did is I kind of tricked the looks, and I made backward stairs, which are technically like glass blocks or opaque blocks, which count as a, like, not being a block there for the string, making it able to connect to other pieces of string past the roofing line to make it look like a connected roof. Uh, behind the bar. What I like is that the fence goes all the way across. I don't know why that's special. I just think that looks pretty cool and neat now with the gates. Uh, this build, actually, the size of it, coincidentally, if you were to put every other chest strap, uh, without the double chest, you would have enough room to store one of each potion if you included bottle enchanting as a potion. Yep, see, there you go, you had, that was every potion there. Um, that is pretty much it. I plan on making a basement for the multiplayer one with like a brewery in the bottom so that you can actually make the potions. Um, 
I kind of like the look of all the different wood planks together. It reminds me of uh, vanilla wafer cookies. Not the circle ones, but like the uh, kind of sticks, the kind of... I don't know, the ones with the frosting kind of stuff in the middle. I just think that it looks really neat. Here I'm just showing like how you could have in the basement with the brewer things label like the ingredients that you would need for each brewing station. You can also, I've seen on YouTube, people making the automatic brewing stations with hoppers and minecart chests. And, but I probably won't get into that because that's a little more expensive in survival mode and really unnecessary when you're just trying to, you know, make something that's just eye candy. Oh, I do this for a little longer. I record my voice after the videos because I only have hypercam and the I can't get the audio to line up with the video, which I think is all right too because then I can better prepare myself for what I'm going to talk about. Okay. Um I think now we are on to this next part. This isn't part of a build. This is actually something cool I found that you can do with TNT now that it can be deployed. And now that you can set off, you know, using dispensers, a lot of TNT in one place at the same time. Using a circuit of redstone and a lot of dispensers. I am trying, there we go, onto it. I have a little setup here of just water contained by these slabs. You know, you can use any block there. Uh, water so that the TNT doesn't get exploded by... Sorry, checking my divine craft. So the TNT doesn't get exploded... or ugh, The TNT does not explode the contraption thing. Uh, it may actually hit my builds. So I have to worry about that. Um, it takes me a few tries here to figure out the circuit. At first, I tried to use comparators so that it flips really, it goes really fast. But it wasn't working so well for me, so I decided I'm going to add a couple repeaters to it. And that works out fairly well. Uh, it gets me what I want to do. Before, you could have where the comparators were always updating the, uh, always updating the dispensers but they took that out in 1.5 so it's a little slower and the TNT deploy isn't as cool because there's not like a stream of TNT it's just occasional but it still has the same effect so it's still pretty cool to watch here it goes you'll see for some reason it shoots them out into like an X shape because they're all hitting each other at the same time and all repelling each other into like four corners which I think is kind of cool oh oh there we go we have one close to the house oh I really hope that doesn't get too badly messed uh, um yeah I'm gonna turn this off just in case make sure the house is okay yeah okay oh it got a little bit but nothing nothing too severe nothing I can't repair uh so yeah I thought that was kind of cool there's like one more you can do but it's not that great it's the same effect that's all for today guys thank you for watching see you later bye destroy them with lasers